Rosie and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. <laughs> A pet's corner! Wow! Brilliant! We're going to build a pet's corner! We're going to build a pet's, a pet's corner! corner. Oh, oh, well, we're we're boy, animals and stuff! With pets and everything in a corner! Um, what is a pet's corner, Wendy? It's a sort of zoo for small animals. Like Pilchard! Well, not for cats and dogs, Mug. <laughs> And I think Pilchard's quite happy living here with us. It's the mayor's idea. Very keen on it. And Bob's going to build it for us. Right, Dizzy. I'll need you to mix concrete for the floors and you to roll them, Rolly. Concrete floors, Bob? Wouldn't that be really hard and cold for little animals to sleep on? Well, the floors need to be hard so the animals can't dig their way out. But Wendy and I are going to build them some lovely, cosy little huts and fill them with straw to keep them warm. Oh, good. <laughs> can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, Bob, where are all the animals coming from? Mr Bentley said that Farmer Pickles was going to bring some ducks and chickens and sheep and rabbits and guinea pigs and, um... And a chinchilla! Bless you! What? Sorry, Rolly. You sneezed. Have you got a cold? <laughs> no, Rolly. And I didn't sneeze. Oh, yes, you did. I heard you. ch ch, -ch you said. <laughs> oh, Rolly. I said chinchilla. It's a lovely little animal with really soft fur. Come on, team. If we don't get on with the job, the animals won't have a home to move into. Oh, Charlie's coming your way, Spud. <laughs> I've got him! I've got him! Hey, uh, oh. oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Not to worry, Spud. I've got him. There you go, Charlie. Oh, nippy little things, chinchillers. <laughs> right, Travis, you know where you're going? Yes, Farmer Pickles, to meet Bob in the park. Then come back here to pick up the straw for the animals' bedding. Right, well, off you go. <laughs> Can I go too? I, I could look after the animals and make sure they don't run away. Well, uh... oh, please, Farmer Pickles. Oh, I suppose so. But just you behave now. Oh, I will. I will. Come on, Travis. <laughs> Ah! What is it, Bob? What? We've run out of chicken wire. Don't worry, Bob. There's some more back at the yard. I'll go and fetch it. Oh, great. Thanks. Come on, Mark. OK, Wendy. Where does Bob keep the chicken wire, Wendy? In the workshop, I think, Mark. Ooh. I was sure we had some in here. Still, not to worry. Come on, Mark. JJ will have some. Oh dear, that sounds like the animals are here. All safe and sound. Uh, right, Bob. Where do you want them? Well, not here at the moment. Not here. Not here. You mean we we've come to the wrong place? But I was sure that no, Spud. You've come to the right place, but we're not ready yet. We've run out of chicken wire. Well, what are we going to do with this lot then? <sighs> I know. Take them to the yard. Wendy's there. She can settle them in the lean-tos until we've finished here. Spud's on the job, Bob! <laughs> Wendy! Wendy! We've got the pets! Wendy isn't here, Spud. She's gone to... Oh, well, not to worry. Bob told us to bring the animals here, didn't he, Travis? Well, yes, but, oh, that's what we're doing. Come on, you. There you go. Oh, uh, but, 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 Spud! 
Right, Travis. Let's go and get the straw. Oh, help! Bilton, what are we going to do? Ah, ah, help! Help! Hi, Bob. I've got the chicken wire. Great. And the animals? All OK? Uh, what animals? The pets. For Pets Corner. I sent Travis and Spud to the yard with them. But I wasn't at the yard. I had to go to JJ's to get the chicken wire. We hadn't got any left. Oh, no. We'd better go and check on them. <coughs> well, well, well. You've done a great job, Pilchard. We dropped the straw off at the park, Bob, and we thought you might like a hand taking the animals back. Good thinking, Travis. We'd better take Pilchard with us, too, to keep an eye on them. <laughs> and me, Bob. Don't forget, spar the pet keeper! <laughs> there we go. That's the last one. Oh, don't they look all lovely and snug? Ah, oh, Bob, looks like you're finished. Lovely job. Lovely. My word, the mayor is going to be pleased. Now then, let's see. Rabbits, check. Ducks, check. Guinea pigs, check. Don't seem to have you on my list, Pilchard. <laughs> Chickens, check. Sheep, check. And chinchilla, uh, chi chinchilla. Chin Bob, where's the chinchilla? Uh, Spud. Is the chinchilla in Travis's trailer? No, Bob, not here. Oh, no. This is terrible. The mayor's not going to be happy. Not happy at all. Don't worry, Mr Bentley. We'll find it, won't we, team? Yes, I hope. Chinchilla Spud. It's an old mop. Oh, um, hello, Pilchard. Is, um, everything okay? Have you, have you, um, lost something, Pilchard? What? Pilchard? Um, what's happening? It's a, uh, uh, it's a chinchilla. Oh, hello. Ah. Any luck, Mr Bentley? Nothing. Not a sign of the little rascal. I'm afraid we haven't found him either. <laughs> I've looked everywhere. Yeah, me too. But I didn't see Charlie anywhere. <sighs> I don't know. Whatever am I going to tell the mayor? Look! Pilchard! And the chinchilla. Oh, happy day. Oh, Pilchard, what a clever cat. Well, I don't know how you did it, Pilchard, but thanks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>